So I managed to overclock it to 2040. Um, and that was my max. That was on the call? That was on the call. What Memory, about, what about mem? mem was plus 500. Stable. Okay. So we know already that um, these things love the memory yeah. overclock, but NVIDIA has limited the voltage for them. Yeah. But apparently there's a fix for that. I did plus 30 volts. Okay. On, e on EVJ Precision. <coughs> and that become... The machine was completely stable after that. On um, some cards, they actually have a extra 10 megahertz slider. Which I'm pretty sure the ASUS does. Mm -hmm, okay. I'm pretty sure. Which we'll soon find out. Which we'll soon find out, yes. So... So far, I was getting on COD. Um, what was it? So, resolution 3440 by 1440. And I was getting about 118, 120 frames per second running on high. Oh, that, so, that's a weird res too. Yeah. Because that's not, not quite 2K. No, it's not. Not quite 4K. And it did it very well. <coughs> it did it very well. So, the core clock on this guy is 1845 from the box. 1845. It, and what did you say you got it to? Just under 2K. Over. Oh, over 2K. 2040. How did it go with, with um, temps and fluctuation? Temps, temps, no more than 72. Fluctuation was a problem. So it will hit, at one stage, I actually, got, I actually got 2070 for about two or three seconds. And it went back to 2040. Couldn't stable. get to 2080? No. No. <laughs> so, so it went to 2070, <clears throat> back to 2040, but it always hovered down to 1995, 1998, you know, 2010. And it was around there. So I think it's safe to say without a water cooling solution, because I'm sure it would have stayed stable at 2070. 100%. Yeah, if you had it, had it on water. But for a air-cooled card, a freaking massive air-cooled card, mind you. Yes, it is. You guys can see. Um, it, it holds its weight pretty well. It definitely does. And it stays cool, as we can see. MSI have always been one of the leaders uh, in terms of cooling. With their frozen technology. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Their, their Torx fans are unreal. 100%. Unreal. <clears throat> um, so I've got to say, so far, I'm very impressed. Even the card size, look, the card is a bit big for my liking, to be honest. What did you say? But, was a 2.75 yeah. slot? But then you've got the Hoffs as well. We've got the Hoffs, and the Hoffs were massive. That's bigger than the Hoffs. But the Hoffs were massive as oh, well yeah, back yeah, in the day. Yeah, but the, yeah. Now the card, this, yeah. this is like the new norm. Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. Um, now, these days, it's, it's I've got to say, performance-wise, from the Duke, I have absolutely no problems at all. You know, regarding into the MSI Afterburner, I thought MSI Afterburner for an MSI card would suit. Because I couldn't get more than 1930 out of MSI Afterburner. Actually, that's a good question. I, I don't know about you guys. I don't know what you guys use, even if you use it. Mm. Using EVGA Precision for, yes. the, for this card. Because it it's it. got that OC scanner technology yeah. you can use on the RTX. How, did you find that you could clock the card higher on EVGA than you could Afterburner? So I ran... Yes, that's one. Yes, I could. Yeah. I ran the scan. The scan peaked it at 1930. Hmm. That's why I said I can't get past 1930. I overclocked it past the scan. But to 2040. 2041, 2042, that's it. It's it, like it, when it's, you, it, was, um, it was unstable. I suppose it's like when you get your car tuned. You, you know, you can go for a conservative tune to save fuel, or you can go for all that performance that's, and not have much fuel. That's my concern. I'm thinking that other MSI Afterburner <coughs> is sort of bringing like a, I don't know, maybe a 5 or 10%, you know, variant where it will be safe to run it at those speeds, where EVEGA is giving you that extra 5 or 10%. And don't get me wrong, it wasn't getting much... The, the difference between... Um, Scores was very minimal, you know. So on Time Spy, it was very minimal from 1930 to 2040. Yep, yep. Um, the FPS on each scene, I would say I probably gained about 15 FPS on each scene by building a solid overclock, but it wasn't massive. Okay. Like not, nothing noticeable. Says like, oh shit, I've got a, I've got a dud card. Even at 1930, it's still, it's still a good speed to running it. Be yep. running it. Yep. 2040, um, at the core plus 500 on the, on the memory, and it ran. For easily, I had it running for about three, four hours. Seventy-two degrees max. I was getting out of it. That's awesome. And the and you couldn't even do <coughs> Was that open air? Yeah. Okay. Oh, so and I was in my case. No, it was in. It was in, okay. it was in so the first. That case. was in the Cooler Master Half. Yes. Five hundred. H five hundred P. Yeah. Just yeah. to let you guys know. So that's pretty good for yeah. for an enclosed case. Yeah. Um, fans all throughout. It was awesome. It was awesome. Yeah. So this is a special stream, guys. You might see the RTX logo on in the stream and MSI there. So I just want to thank MSI as well for sending out the card. Um, and also, you know, for us, well, for me to review it. Thank you very so, much. So, well, as you can see here, we're actually running the stream off the RTX Duke, and it is 
you can't even hear it. It's not even, well, the fans aren't even spinning, so it's not even doing anything really. And you know what? The first thing I noticed as well when I come in here, I put my ear towards the card. Yeah. Zero coil one. But we aren't playing any games or putting it under any load. But no. zero coil one. Yeah. I'm happy with that. Well, I couldn't hear any coil one <coughs> last night. That's, that was going to be my next question. So, coil yeah. one? No. No? Okay. That's good. That's good. Thank you yeah. all once again for tuning in. And if do we have RTX enabled? Do we look better? <laughs> <laughs> um, but PC I just spent my fifty on the last week of the Elgato Cam Link. Oh, what the hell's that? It's the little Yoth USB version. So it's a HDMI at the back and USB. What'd you get that for? Actually, buddy? let me know how that goes. Golf, let me know. What'd you get that for? Because that's handy for when you're on like say for packs and you yeah, want to live right. stream. Hmm. Off, a, off, a, off a camera rig you just plug HDMI straight into the camera rig good choice always yeah. a good choice second cam very well done mate yeah so as you can see here I've got the HD60 on on, um, on the stream machine this is actually a test bench at the moment it's the temporary stream rig because this is the this, this, that's the test bench for what I test bench everything on there it's actually got water cooling capabilities and at the moment I'm running the NZ, X, NZXT cooler at the moment so we're actually supposed to be reviewing that um so yeah it's gonna um quite a good combo you got got going there mate at the moment yeah x299 <laughs> sli it's actually running the, it's, it's it's all msi tonight actually so it's running the x299 sli plus that's what it's sitting in so yeah oh and mind you the scores i got last night were cpu was stock as a rock memory was running at 3500 stock you push it that little bit more i reckon if you push it a little bit more i would have got a better score but yeah so maybe you can get your 2080 Hickstar, yeah. Hickstar with the 210 bitties. 210 bitties, mate. Is that 10? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Josh A says the lens flares from Lee's head definitely look good with the RTX on. <laughs> um, is beautiful. It, are they getting. <laughs> there you go. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. So, I think we should start with. Let's do it. Well, mate. why don't we start? Obviously, I've got to start with something. Um, Talking tech sponsors. <laughs> We've been talking for a good 15 minutes here. I don't know about 10 minutes and we haven't even done our sponsors yet. So That's daily. Talking tech, I know. Talking tech is obviously sponsored by, you know, PLE, Cooler Master and Battable. So I'd like to thank all three of our sponsors for Talking Tech every single week. Uh, PLE do have a $50 gift voucher for you guys today as well. Thank you so much, PLE. Give me one second. Thank you. Up the doc because I'm... As all. always, don't forget, guys, if you are hopping onto PLE's website, you can use the code PC419VIP at checkout to receive a further discount on your next purchase that you make on PLE's website. Yeah, so for your PC hardware needs, go to ple.com.au, use the PC419VIP code, as Matt just said, in the checkout to receive a further discount. Um, PLE also give us $50 every week for you guys to win. We will get that giveaway get going as soon as possible. And then use the code VIP, uh, code PC Fallen and VIP at the checkout with your, you know, fifty dollars. You might get something other for free delivery that's, or something a lot cheaper. That's a very generous know, discount right there. Yeah. Very, very generous very. discount. Um, also, we have Cooler Master with a vast range of keyboards, mice, and cases, supplies, and clothes all in ones, which they have open ones now as well. Um, Cooler Master have you covered? Head over to CoolerMaster.com. And then, last but not least, we have Battleball. So. <laughs> I'm sitting on the Diversion Black and White and Matt is sitting on the Commander Purple, White and Black These gaming chairs can be purchased on ple.com.au Head over there, use the discount code once again pc on vip at the checkout to even get a further discount on your next Battleball chair A very generous discount on the, yeah, on, is, on the Battleball range, I must say you Mr. Therm, how are you mate? What's going on? Thanks for tuning in Hello, hello Danny, thank you for linking the there website you <laughs> Thank you very much Thank you very much How you going mate? So uh, I wish we could turn about? our stream RTX on. <laughs> That'd be so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't it? <laughs> Wouldn't it? It would. It would. Uh, we have straw polls every week. So today's straw poll, Matt has done this one. Uh, when looking for your next upgrade in smartphones, what is the feature is a must for you? Must. What is, so without you even looking pick. at that, whatever's looking at that, what pick is one. your feature? Pick one. Um, I have to say, after owning a... What's this? An S9 Plus for so long now. <laughs> and using it every freaking day, I have noticed that the battery is getting shitter and shitter. Yes, it is. Um, so I would have to say battery life that freaking stays the whole time I'm mm. using it. Battery life is a must because I use my phone a lot. So my Note 9 was perfect at the start. Yeah, all phones are. And then it just, yeah. you know, it's degrading. Yeah. And then hey, you're not. Hey, Artemis. How you yeah. doing? 
Um, yeah, and then you use it more and more and more, and the battery degrades. It does. It's it does. natural. It happens. I know. See, for me, particularly, now it's more camera. Oh, happy snap. It is camera now. Um, camera, and I've got to say, and I don't, I don't know why, and I probably it's not a necessity for me, but I'm looking at the RAM. At the at the RAM. Yeah. Look how much RAM has this thing got. Do you even play games on your phone? Or, or I do don't. Do I, don't do, I don't do any of that shit. But oh, really? It's just like, if it's got, if there's a phone that's got six or eight, I'd go for the eight. Just for, just for the sake of fucking bottom. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, All right. <laughs> like, yeah, like, for me, it's just, yeah. And also, also the, the, score, the screen quality as well is, um, is a must for me. If I'm watching something constantly, if I'm using my phone, um, particularly because I've got a Note 9, um, I use my pen vigorously on this on this thing even just jotting up notes or drawing something on there if i've got if i've taken a photo yeah. or something yeah um yeah it's the screen quality as well but right. battery i've got to admit yes you're right my right. battery life has gone to shit do you have a selfie stick no no do you need one i'm surprised you don't have one why we should organize that <laughs> <laughs> for, for packs <laughs> no mate we should um, organize you're that. a selfie boy ellie no i'm not <laughs> I, I actually am not to be honest i'm not um so yeah look it's it's literally for my for my work what i do here um and obviously my the other business as well i tend to use the pen a lot for some reason i don't know why it's, it's now i'm just used to it if you i forget what? something with jot notes you've got a feature i hope you use it because it's a freaking expensive phone so yeah one would assume you're going to take advantage of the well pen. i've actually been lazy with the pen lately for the last two days i've been using google reminder oh yeah so hey google remind me to do blah 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 <laughs> hey lee get your ass up Ah, uh, Shelbus says, I'm about to get my battery replaced, so I don't need to buy a new phone. Ooh. What I phone, what phone not, do you have? I hope you are not paying for that. Okay, so, you got for, you went for battery life. I went for, we've actually I chosen did. a few different things, so... The beauty of this straw poll mm. is that I actually put it up yesterday morning. Mm -hmm. So we've had time for people to vote. So hopefully we should have more, more votes. If you have not voted... Because we, we both agree... Put the link in the chat. Yeah. Oh, I haven't yet. I will do this. Right. Because... We both agreed on one of the things. I'm going to say battery. All right? So I'm going to vote for battery. Battery. Battery life. There you go. Internal features, CPU and RAM. There's seven, seven other people who agree, agree what I do. Right. Well. So quality of the camera. I would like to size. think, I would like to think that, because I don't game on my phone. I sure as hell know that you do not. I would like to think that they, they game on their phone. Mm. If I get the Asus phone, that. maybe. <laughs> oh yeah if you have a phone tailored around it I, I would yeah. be forced <laughs> yeah the, the force a game force a game show us has an iPhone I wonder what um, Apple's policy is for changing batteries and stuff like that are they are, uh, they, are they lenient with that stuff or what's no idea oh yeah no they are they used to they just are. hand out replacement phones but nearly yeah so it was I, I no it was literally well actually no I had an issue with my battery with my <laughs> iPhone 6 mind you that's why oh, it's the last modern iPhone yeah, yeah. and I just got a replacement phone they did some diagnostics that can actually identify the battery was faulty and new phone. Really? Well, it was one of those cardboard box phones, I call them. It wasn't a brand new phone. <laughs> they melt them down and make new ones. Yeah. Uh, Golf says they are not. I suppose it depends on the person you get and who oh, you no, see. Oh, no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't get, if it was, if it's even if it's Samsung or if it's a, iPhone or Apple, you know, I would. I won't go. To, I'll go back to manufacturer. At the end of the day, their policy is pretty much all generic and the same. The companies are out there to make money, so they'll try and help you where they can. No, but would you go to a legally. third party to fix your phone? Oh no, definitely not. One hundred percent not. Definitely not. I cracked my Note Eight. No, my S Seven. My S Seven. I cracked my S Seven, and the screen on that was about three hundred and eighty bucks. The third party quoted me nearly five hundred dollars. Hmm. Now, what you pay extra for genuine? Yeah, and you you get what you pay for. You, L literally, you, you get what you pay for. Because then you get you get to claim your warranty. Your warranty still stays the same. The phone continues on as it is. That's right, and no problems at all. That's right. Dark Angel says, uh, and all of the above option would be good. No, you cannot multi choose. Hence why I put uh, is a must for you. But that's a new feature. You had to pick one. Drunk Wombat Follow, thank you very much. Thank uh, you very much, mate. I didn't mate. say that to be honest, sorry. And it was before JP's. Was it? Yeah. Oh, thank you, Drunk Thanks, Wombat. Drunk thank you, mate. Um, and Joshy was one bitty. <laughs> did I say that? Yeah, one bitty. Yeah. Oh. Did, he say, did he say it twice? Or was it... Um, why can't we hear him? I, just, I can hear it, but now I can't hear it. I'm not sure. It's going to be a bit hard, but... The reason why I put... Uh, see, if you guys look down the bottom, 
um, above other, you'll see use of external features, example, headphone jack and accessories. Mm. That's because I actually read that the next Samsung phone may not have a headphone jack. Yeah, but I also heard that the next Samsung phone's headphones are going to be Bluetooth. Yeah, so they, they, they're taking a uh, leaf out of Apple's book. Yeah. For the next phone. No, possibly, no, I mean, possibly. like, you get, the Bluetooth, you get the Bluetooth headphones. With it. That's it. Like, the, well, the, the buds. That's good. Yeah. That's good. So you should. That's good. That's good. If it, I think if a, phone, if a phone doesn't come with a headphone jack, you get Bluetooth earbuds. That's one step closer to us moving away from wires. Exactly that right. seems to do what everybody's doing these days. Yeah, that's right. Mm. You're going to die from cancer. G. Vincent. <laughs> You're going to die from cancer from radiation. <laughs> radiation. <laughs> Bet you hey, I Vince, expect you to be here. Vince, are you going to be there next week? It's actually the very, the very opposite. I expect you to be here every week. <laughs> <laughs> Show us getting in early? Yeah. <laughs> he hasn't won yet. He hasn't won yet. He hasn't won topic yet. Um, let's start the giveaway, though. I did read about this, Danny. I did read about this. Okay, guys. Uh, thanks, PLE, for once again for your $50 gift voucher. So, guys, enter the code hash, well, hashtag PC41PLE. Chuck it in the chat. And you're able to get your $50 voucher once we do it. Chuck it in the chat, guys, and good luck. So, what's new with you, mate? You went away on the weekend. Yeah, you I did. You went to Queensland. I went to Queensland, and I missed out on playing COD. I played COD. I watched a lot of Twitch. <laughs> COD, COD actually has been pretty good. Has it's it? Really good, yeah. Yeah, really good. Who here's got COD and enjoys it? Oh, no, no, you won't. <laughs> Matt, do you think I'll win tonight? I'm going to say no in hopes that you do. Because I always say she does and she doesn't. Mm. So, yeah. I think, I think, well, out of the admins, Eleanor's probably the only one allowed to win. Because she hasn't won anything yet. She hasn't yet. won anything yet. Yeah. Damn it. Yeah, what do you think of COD so far, mate? I like it. You like it? I like enjoying it, it. I'm using literally every time I play as Recon. So I love the scanner. Yep. You've seen that he yep. shoots some, some yep. scanner on the wall. Yep. Um, because I use it so much, it's fucking awesome. But then I've never tried any other characters. But then again, I've never played COD. Oh, really? This would be like the first COD that I'm actually really playing. Because I was never interested in it. Popped your cherry, mate. Yeah, you, you did really. Popped your cherry. You need to play Ruin. He's um, my favorite. Playing at the moment. <laughs> Art. <laughs> <laughs> Buying COD tonight and Assassin's Creed. I am so jealous because Assassin's Creed looks so good. It does. I it don't does. have it yet. Damn you, people! Artemis outranks me on COD. <laughs> she probably does six star. I love, I, I love it. There's a, a fast-paced game that's just come out. I love fast-paced games. Hey, cup here, Yamo. Hey, buddy, what's going on? True, true. Yeah, um, so they've all man. seen the Logitech posts with my ugly face on the center. Oh, I have not. Please do feel free to link it in the chat, mate. Yeah, I haven't seen it yet. Let's let's check it out. Let's check it out. Guys, don't forget, once again, the giveaway is open thanks to P, uh, PLE Computers, and that's hashtag PC49PLE for a $50 gift voucher. Yep. All right, so let's go. We should start with the show, because it's 8.27. On with the show. Um, yes, we should. So, so first up, obviously, we have there has been some driver updates this week. There has been some driver updates. Thanks, buddy. I'm going to have a look at it right now. To load. We're actually running pretty good. I thought we had, we'd be dropping some frames, but we're not. Maybe we should bring up the we should bring up a bit rate. Pretty shit. <laughs> We're at Vincent, months. I love it. <laughs> oh, <is> it? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. In fact, I, I'm going to talk to you after this about using it for my emote because <laughs> 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 I think it's fitting. Okay, so Nvidia have released a, um, a GeForce driver update for this week. It is four one six dot three four. Um, any. Issues that we should concern about that we should put on, we should actually talk about. I think I should put the link in the chat. If you guys, can I just say, if you guys are not running this driver update and you're playing uh, Black Ops 4, big no no because this is a, a patch obviously tailored around Black Ops. Yeah. And apparently it makes a big difference. It does. They've done some testing with and without it. Yeah. And it's made it a whole lot. I actually noticed it, to be honest. You did? Yeah, I did notice it. Well, you've been doing a testing mm. with all the RTX cards and stuff yeah. this week as well, so you would have noticed it. Jeremino. Jam Jam Marino. So Jam Marino. Jam Marino. Jam Marino. How you going? The boys. What's going on, mate? How you doing? Welcome to the show. So, NVIDIA driver update. Known issues. Should we go for anyone? Soul Calibur VI and Black Ops 4. This driver is catered for. Yep. Uh, it's fixed a number of issues. Um, and grip. Sorry? And grip. Oh, I missed out on it. What the hell's grip? Mm. I have to check that out. 
So it provides optimal gaming experience for Call of Duty, Skull, uh, Soul Calibur, and Grip. And Grip, okay. You can grab that, guys. I'll put the link in the chat right now if you don't have it. If you have GeForce Experience, it should have popped up already for you to download. Um, See? Sorry, I'm going to cut you off. That's okay. Go. I had a, I've, been having a problem with G, I've been having problems with COD. Yep. And in GeForce, NVIDIA GeForce Experience. Say it how it is, Vincent. So I've been saying if I have GeForce Experience, uh, not, not GeForce Experience, if I have the recording on to do a lot, to, re to record my session yep. with, um, with NVIDIA software, the game will crash. Okay. The game will exit. Is it just COD? Just COD. The game will exit. The splash screen will be where it crashed. The music and the background will still keep, will still continue on. Just so you got no picture. The picture will stay still. Task manager is closed and the game's shut down. So Vista, that's an issue with um, GeForce Experience. Uh, Shadow Play. Yeah. I guess. Pretty much. Okay. All right. So if that's like the same um, issue. That sounds like a very similar problem that you have when you have like mm. team, team Viewer going. You know how some games just don't work when Team Viewer's open? Yeah, yeah. Example, Forza 4. Yeah. Um, you close it and it works straight away. Yeah. Same, same sort of thing. So Denny has a problem too with COD. He doesn't have it. <laughs> Mate, it's freaking awesome from what I've seen. I've only played... I was playing it for 20 minutes before the show. Yeah. For the first time ever on here. And it, was, it was running mint. He got his ass kicked. Oh, I did it? <laughs> yes, he did. I got four kills, six deaths. That's not ass kicked. <laughs> the ratio should be the other way, other way around. <laughs> Come on, mate. Come on. Um, dark. <clears throat> I'm same, but I'm okay with it. Don't worry, guys. Keep streaming. You'll definitely get that one. <laughs> You'll get it. You'll get it. Uh, guys, AMD have also released the 18.10.1 beta driver. Um, and that oh, also man. is tailored for COD Black Ops 4 and is also tailored for the Windows 10 October 2018 update, which got pulled from the store. Which was, do you still have it? Still tailored for it? Yeah, of course so, I do. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Any deleted files yet? It's a PDA 27. Sorry, is that HDR? Hmm? Is that HDR, that monitor? No. Damn it. Which one? Ah, the one I'm getting. Uh, no, yes, it is. It is? Yes, it is. HDR. Oh. We'll talk after. Yeah. <laughs> So if you have Black Ops 4, it is 5% faster in performance with the RX Vega 64, 8 gig uh, at 1920 by 1080, so 1080p, and 6% faster performance in Black Ops 4 using Radeon Adrenaline 18.10.1 on an RX 580 at 1080p. So they've catered for the 1080p fans on here. I would assume you get pretty good FPS already. I'm getting 118 on mine. At 1080p though? Uh, you get like 300. <laughs> 10, no, 1080p, I was getting about 176, 178, because I'm running on the PG 340Q. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, it sort okay. of downscales it. Okay. Yeah, no, no, I'm only asking about the HDR because I'm actually, um, I'm buying a monitor this week. What, what am I getting? 27. PG 279Q. And I don't, I, I'm not sure if it's HDR or not. I've always wanted a HDR monitor. Apparently, once you see it, it's like G-Sync. Once you see it, you, you can't go back. This monitor is 2016. 2017. Yeah, so, so it's quite I old. I don't think it will have, to be honest. Yeah. Still a thousand bucks. 950 if I win the PLE voucher. Interesting. When I will start to buy a HDR monitor. When you don't win. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we've got a bit to talk about tonight. Uh, just once again, we are running off the MSI Duke 2080. Uh, we thank MSI for sending us the review sample. We cannot wait to get the review out for you guys to see. It has been an awesome card so far. Uh, no, it's not. It's not? No. Damn it. It's still an awesome screen. Trust me, you're going to love it. You're going to love it. Yeah. Man. What? I was going to buy three of them. If you don't buy them, I'm going to buy it. Oh. Tell you straight up. I might buy that one. I'll buy two other 4K screens that are HDR. I want three. Or I might get the PG 270Q. Eat a dick. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, by the way, COD runs amazing on my 1070 Ti. You know what? I fired it up for the first time on my laptop, which is running a 1066 gig, and most of the stuff was medium to high. I was actually quite impressed. And how good mm. did it run? Yeah. I didn't get an FPS counter, but that's awesome, man. I would assume that it was. It's COD. It's usually well optimized. Yeah. The drivers are good for it. That's awesome, man. I hope you're enjoying it. Uh, okay, Styles. By the way, COD runs amazing on my 1070 Ti. Mate, it would run any, it would be on anything, but it was running on a 1060. 6 gig, and you, it's running good. You just repeated what I just said. What? I just I, I just went through that. You're kidding me. I was fucking reading... <laughs> you know what? I was actually reading something else. Like, I was just, I was daydreaming, for, or night dreaming, I should say. You know, it's scary, though. Mm. You said the same thing I did. Oh, did I? We're in sync. 
Must have our um. I mean, sync. You must have our monthlies. <laughs> <laughs> must be the, it must be the monthlies. We're in sync. Listen to me, goddammit. it. Mm. Listen to what I say. <laughs> bedtime says K Styles. Bed- uh, <laughs> bedtime. <laughs> I I've been here at the studio since six thirty this morning. So yeah, <laughs> it's been fantastic. That's funny. That's funny. Good out of Coca Cola. <laughs> Always cold. Do they still no, have no that? <laughs> no. They still do that saying. Always cold Coca-Cola. No. All right, do you soccer? How you going, buddy? Let's let's have a look at the PC Four Nine rigs page. Mm. Yes, we will. I know that there's a rig on there, and has it been changed? Oh, do you know? Do you know why I didn't hear any of your shit? Why? Because I was looking for your HDR. I was reading through the oh, um, yeah. this this. Thanks, thanks, buddy. You could look after the show. I was doing it for you. <laughs> you always do it for me. I know I do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it is that time of the night where we're going to go through the PC Fallen on forum and check out the rigs. There's been a few more rigs added, and yes, we are going to pass Art's lovely <laughs> battle station. <laughs> Mount, Mount Franklin is All, also a Coke brand. All this, they're all these battle stations are absolutely fantastic, but Art's just pops because of the white and black. Shh, don't say it this episode. Go one episode without talking about it. I can't say it. I can't say it. <laughs> Sorry. Once Hicks, again, Pixies did a good job. <laughs> and that's, all, that's all I'm going to say but all of them are absolutely fantastic. look at Shell so she's actually got the PC419 Facebook page there with her two doggies oh look at that her doggy 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 oh, so it's, oh, it must be a mirrored. silhouette or a mirror or it's something mirrored once again yeah, we thank each and every single person for posting up their rig on the PC419 rig page it's here. scroll down <laughs> we've seen enough of that I'm sorry I love it but we just talk about it every week <laughs> I'm passing it you're passing it? Yeah. R.I.G. Yeah. Stalker, absolutely fantastic. Who we got this week? I believe we have Aussie Damnation. One of our sponsored streamers. <laughs> Even Artemis is over it. She just writes, ha. <laughs> 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 Alan, are we waiting? Hurry the hell up and post yours on there. Yeah, I need to go there first. <laughs> Mate, you do need to... Suck cable manager. <laughs> you do realise you, you can click down the scroll button and move down, yeah? No. Oh, Who was that? Who was that? Who was that? Sam Green, Green Media. Media. Thank you for the host, buddy. Much Thanks for the it. host, mate. What a stream you had the other night. You should have watched his stream the other night. Oh, really? It was so funny. What I miss? It was so funny. It was a it was a midnight stream and it was a bit R-rated. Oh, really? Yep. It was the Sam and Prawn and Prawn show. Oh. It was hilarious. Full of full of laughs, mate. Thank you for that. Um, G Vincent, I'm gonna post mine after PAX. <laughs> Vince is gonna post his new machine. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna post his new. <laughs> That's awesome. That is awesome. So, Aussie Damnation has posted up his Corsair 900 Mega D. Mega D. Mega D. Corsair 900 E to D. Yeah, pretty much. Um, we'll go through the specs in a second. That's actually a really good. He's actually painted his wall green. He's got a, he's got a green. He's actually got yeah. a green. He's got a green wall. He was so. he was sick of streaming and adjusting the green screen every time. Yeah, so yeah, he yeah. just said, "Fuck it, I'm just gonna paint the wall green." I thought this was heavier. I'm like, Whoop. <laughs> <laughs> Um, he was paranoid. That man. is an awesome K95 keyboard I see there. <laughs> Where do we get that from? So he's, <laughs> he's running a Corsair 900D case uh, with a 28 inch Asus 1440p, 144Hz, 1 millisecond. I'm glad you didn't put any other specs in there. And an AOC he uses for Twitch chat. Good on you, mate. You should definitely turn that vertically, according to Lee. It makes it a lot better. <laughs> Vertical is amazing. A Corsair K95 RGB Platinum. Mechanical keyboard, courtesy of PC419. A Corsair M65 Pro RGB mouse. A Logitech gaming headset, G933 Artemis Spectrum. Mate, you should definitely change that to a Corsair because you're running a Corsair everything else. A mic- The mic is a Volume Mart BM800. Have you ever heard of that? No. You haven't? Neither have I. Motherboard, don't want to talk about it. It's a Lenovo special. It was a pre-built Lenovo board. I know that much. Uh, i7-6700K at 4.7 GHz. A Maelstrom 120T uh, liquid cooler. 32 GB of DDR4 RAM. <sighs> and he's running in a yeah. Galaxy GDX 1060. I'd love to continue off that list or do to do my own? <laughs> I'll go back up. It's where you up to? Bleh. Oh, you up to the hard drives? I mean, I'm a, yeah, second bit. So, <laughs> two, tera, two tera hard drives, two gig SSD, Galaxy GeForce GTX 1060, 6 gig, uh, via Oculus Rift CV1, and he's running a Thrustmaster. So it's a Thrustmaster. <laughs> Thrustmaster. There's a way you said that. TMX Pro. I, I, said, I said it on purpose. Thrustmaster. <laughs> TMX Pro Sim Racing steering wheel. 
And don't look at the wires moving soon. I'll try and fix them up later. There's no fucking excuse. <laughs> fix it. Straight up. Fix it. The wires aren't going to move when you move your house. <laughs> so fix it now. If you want to put up for show, set the mine. Mine looks like shit at the moment. That's where it's on the desk. You can't see it. Sam, come back, mate. Come back. Don't miss it. His internet's being a dick, apparently. Sorry, my internet's being dodgy. It's being dodgy, not a dick. <laughs> being a dodgy, dodgy as hell. I'll try and come back. No worries, buddy. <laughs> So, let's have a look at the build. <laughs> is, he, is he on tonight? Oh, where is he? Thrust who? No, he's not. Fuck. Throbbing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting for him to come up. <laughs> Alright, so... What are you going to say about this, Rick? <sighs> what, were your, what are your pros and cons? Bar from seeing um, a 1998 iPod. Like can see on the table word. Oh, yeah. I see that. I see that. Um, actually, does people in the chat still use iPods? Let me know. Like, I wanna, I'm actually interested. I had somebody come into work the other day and asked me to fix one. Really? Mm. Anyway, um, Aussie's build. If you scroll down a bit and go to the build. <laughs> <laughs> Let's check it out. Okay, go. Um, obviously, the cable management is a bit... How you doing? Yeah. But nice. I, I don't blame him because... He wants to change the motherboard. Yep. Because the motherboard is a Lenovo special. But just remember, you have, you have, at the moment, you have no excuses with a 900D. You can, you mind can, you. You can jump in there and close the fucking door. Mind you, this case was once non-existent and this was a Len- Lenovo pre-built. Yeah. So, Aussie would have had to move the components out and shift them into the 900D. Yeah, yeah, I understand the PSU, you know, I understand from that side. But, so, yeah. that means that he would have had to touch all these wires to move it. Mm-hmm. That means he purposely left them like that. Mate, you should have cleaned them up. <laughs> first first and last one. <laughs> first and last one. Besides that, I have no qualms. The cooler's in the right spot. The fan's the right orientation. I hate... It triggers me seeing the fan back fan pointing in for some reason. So it's good that you have it pointing out. Yeah, I know. Where it's supposed to be. All right, so in this photo here, do you see anything that I can see? It's in your photo, so you see the same shit. What's missing? What's missing? Mm. What's missing? What do you think's missing? Hmm. Don't say it. Guys, in the chat. And Ozzy, you probably know what it is. Are we talking component? It's, it is a component. It is a component. Okay. Well, look, he's, he's got all the fruit. So just think, the thing, think of the steps when you're putting... I'm going to give you the fucking answer. Did you forget to put thermal paste on? <laughs> when, you're, when you're putting in components to, into your case, what's the, first thing you, what's the first thing you do before you put anything in? Oh, right. You noticed that. I didn't notice that. <laughs> Mate, where's your rear IO shield? For, for God's <laughs> sakes. When you said, hey, how you going? I was like, what the fuck's how you going there? Oh, I didn't even notice that. There <laughs> you go. There you go. Where's yeah. your IO shield, buddy? Maybe it was inbuilt to the other case. Like, like it, it probably was, was fixed in or something. I'm just saying. Oh, I did not notice that. Did any yeah. of you guys notice that in the chat? I mean, it was quite easy to pick up after you said it. Because mm. I was looking at all the finer things. But... Yeah. How many times did you do it for me? <laughs> it's actually open. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, it's fixed now. Good. Okay. Besides that, love it. Congratulations, buddy. You got yourself a, uh, a nice machine there. Can't wait to see your stream. Guys, if you haven't checked out Aussie Damnation, please do so. There's um, literally a variety stream. Could you boys help me out rebuild my PC currently? You guys obviously know a lot more than I do. Anytime, K-Styles. Where actually are you? Is he in Victoria? Are you in Victoria, K-Styles? Mate. He's been messaging me. Who? Mate. Get a new, he needs a new case. Yeah, I've got a few more. He needs a new case. Um, we'll my iPod pins broke a long time ago, but I still have it. I've actually I've still got an old school iPod. I think I got to the kids to play as a toy. <laughs> yeah. Them things were so good when they first came out, though. They were. They yeah, were. They were the shit. Let's, let's right. be honest. So going back to Ozzy's, Ozzy's build, look, as a complete rig, it's actually he's not too bad. It isn't too bad. I understand being doing VR, you need your space. You know, you've got. Um, the amount of hardware needed to what he's actually doing isn't too bad as well. More or less, a bit of cable management on the case, I'll say. And then, far from that, should have waited before you bought that 1060. Two more weeks, and you could have bought a 1070 or a 1080 for that price. Mm. Yeah. Woulda, shoulda, coulda. Woulda, coulda, shoulda. Woulda, shoulda, coulda. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. All right. What's next, mate? Let's do it. Let's do it. Maybe we should actually do a topic at 8.44. <laughs> <laughs> I 
It's been took and tripled. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so guys, if you do have a rig, um, I'm going to post up on the PC4 one on forum page. Do join in, become a member. Um, obviously, we'll, after after packs, a lot of a lot will be changing with PC4 one on. We're going not just more the back end, actually the social media side as well. Twitter will be sort of launching more, um, and also too, we our main focus will be the website. So everything going into there. Hopefully, maybe two or three weeks after packs, I'll have it. Much all organized, there's a lot coming up. I know, I know. So, going into that, too, as you're saying, a lot coming up this weekend. We have our first PC4 one on tournament. How exciting! So, CSGO How exciting. tournament. Now, if we got PLE, we've got Cooler Master, we've got Aorus, we've got Pacifica, yes, um, as sponsors for that tournament. How starts, good are them sponsors, guys? Starts 11 a.m. on Saturday morning. And it starts at 11 a.m. on Sunday morning as well to finalize the last eight teams. We have 16 so teams. It's going to be fantastic. 16 teams? 16 teams. 16 teams. Three casters, one observer. Boy, it's going to yeah. be huge, guys. You're going yeah. to want to check that out. Trust me. Trust for our me first for tournaments, one. I've got to admit, um, you know, the admins and Josh, Josh, well, Josh is on here, is in here as well, um, has been absolutely fantastic. Can't thank you um, enough, Organizing buddy. this tournament as well. Um, getting everything all, all, you know, all sorted and all together for me, which has been fantastic. It is our first tournament, so we are doing a try. It's, it's really, it's really trying out for us to see if we, if it's capable of actually happening. Because if it does go through and it does really well, then I'll definitely be organising another tournament, maybe in the next month or two. Awesome! Yeah, can't wait, can't wait. So you want to make sure to tune into that, guys. Saturday and Sunday, starting eleven a.m. Exactly right. Let's do it. Um, before we do kick, I'm gonna sort of jump off off a topic to a new topic. Yep. To what we had before. Yep. Um, we. Officially, officially, have our stall. Do you get ten percent off? Apparently, you're all right. Um, the merch store is officially open. I've got to thank uh, Danny on this one because Danny has been hard at work. Me, business. Busting my balls, as he does. <laughs> um, no, yeah, there's stickers. It's, a, it's an officially, it's an official merch store. Yeah, it is, yeah, mate. So it's an official merch store for us now. This is obviously it's international, so it will come from the US. What will be happening later on is when we go to the PC Four Nine website, you're going to have the merch store, which will redirect it to here, so you can buy your merch direct. Then we're going to have another tab saying PC Four Nine local merch store, so we'll have some of this merch store locally in Australia ready to go. That will come in hopefully the next two months. Once I've, once this this store sort of settled down, I've got to sit down with um with Danny and do a few more designs. What I want to do, and then I'll be bringing I'll be bring, bringing my own merch from the store to locally. So you'll get it within days. Then happen happen to wait for three weeks. I think it's two or three weeks waits. We have some for giveaways. Yeah, It'll definitely. Good. It'll be good. Definitely. We got some other stuff coming as well. We do. I'll, I want to keep it surprised, but I might. Oh, I haven't, sure. I haven't said anything. I've just yeah. said we've got some other stuff coming. Yeah, no, there is there is, there is more <laughs> stuff coming in. Um, so we do have our own PC419 mouse mats. Ah, I'm so excited. Official mouse mats for PC419. I'm so excited. Um, they'll, they're, I was hoping they were here today, to be honest, but they didn't arrive. So it looks like they might arrive tomorrow or Thursday. These are, quote unquote, sexual. They are. Wait until you guys see them. Yeah. Wait until you see them. Yeah. They are the big mothers. They are... Danny, what, what's the size? Chuck it in here. But they are... Literally this big, <laughs> this big, that big. Maybe this big, but yeah. this big. So the official <laughs> merch store has officially opened, guys. So I, I appreciate anyone that purchases from there. Obviously, um, we do get a bit of a kickback every time we do a purchase from the store. Um, we do from have from unisex <laughs> to women's to t-shirts, jumpers, stickers, mugs, and what I'll be doing as well. Obviously, be seasonal for us to them, you know, to the Australian, not for the US. So I'll be. A lot on, a lot on. <laughs> Eleanor, <laughs> Eleanor that, that, that emote is gold. <laughs> oh my God. I am saving that emote. Who's is it? I don't know. Nine hundred by four hundred. Dini says almost a meter long. <laughs> More orgasm. <laughs> <laughs> almost a meter long for the mouse pads. It's pretty long. <laughs> <laughs> almost a meter long. Nine hundred by four hundred. You can't go wrong with that. You cannot go wrong with that. Make a bigger coffee cup. You can, you can put two machines. You can, you can, mate. You want to come over and land? Let's land. I got a nine hundred by four hundred mouse pad. You can just put your keyboard and mouse next to me. <laughs> and touch them. <laughs> so yeah. So I think actually, this 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 mount this mug actually came out really well. I actually really, really really like it. I'll be ordering a few of these. That is cool. Um, and also too, 
There's more merch arriving. It should have arrived today. I had two. I had two packages. Actually, three packages supposed to arrive today, and only one arrived. I'm just happy that we got this. Yeah. Because it was delayed as well. Yeah. yeah. Everything is fucking delayed. Everything got fucking delayed. <laughs> so we have the new PC four one nine spirit glasses coming in as well. So the spirit glasses will be here. Well, it should have been here today. I can't say you know should have been here, but they should have been here today. So we got the mugs. You remember? Been... You remember how sexual our old our old spirit glasses? The new were. ones look even better. Yeah. You guys are going to want to buy one of them. The new ones look even Holy better. Holy moly. So, that might force me to have Jack again on stream. We can't though. Well, we can. We can have one. That might force me to have a Jack again on stream. <laughs> <laughs> we, can have a, we can have a one. That's what it is. So <laughs> so from jumpers to t-shirts, you know, I'll be getting a few. So I'm actually going to check the quality as well. But apparently the quality on these have been absolutely fantastic. You know, the doc uses this. Shred, I think Shred uses this as well. So it's got to be good. We'll soon find out. I'll grab but one, if you guys do want to wait and put your stuff through, you can purchase directly straight away. But I will be making an order. I'll be making a small order um, for local stock and then whatever sells. There'll be two options. You can either buy from the PC419 merch store from the website itself um, locally or you'll be redirected to the, you know, Designs by Humans website. Dandy says the store should be right to start purchases by next show. So if you guys can hold out till the next show, which is next Tuesday, yep. um, we should be good to go with that one. Mm -hmm. G Vincent, I'm very upset, mate. My mum broke his glass. I mean, his mum broke his glass. I'm reading it Aww. as he said it. You're just going to have to win another one. No remorse because you'll probably win it. Definitely win it, I think. What's that? I can't believe he broke his glass. Oh look, there's a few glasses coming in, so I've That's actually upsetting. I've actually ordered a, I've actually ordered a fair few. So as soon as they arrive, I've got to update the photo because the photo's a bit different. Yeah, obviously the glasses are a bit different to the yeah. originals. Yeah, yeah. And um, there'll be a new quantity update, which we'll we'll post on social media right now. Once they're available to purchase, you guys can purchase one whenever you like. Awesome, awesome, mate. Let's get to the fucking topic. I know we should. It's a bit fucking weird. Uh, once again, guys, if you haven't done it already, um, enter to the PLE voucher. So hashtag PC419 PLE for your $50 gift voucher, which we'll be giving away very soon. Um, like Matt has basically done all the topics for tonight. And I haven't had a chance to have a look at one of them. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm winging it tonight. So tonight's been a wing it. So if I can see the first topic for tonight is... Samsung reveals that its affordable smartphone will double up as a tablet. This has been, this is so old, this news. It's new news, but it's old news. What's new about it is it's releasing next year. It's about fucking time. Mm. So I saw this technology back in 2016. It was and first it, shown off in 2013. Well, I saw it. That's how I old saw it was. I saw it when he, when, he, when he rolled it out. It was, like, it was, it was 2016 or 2015, I can't remember. But yeah, it was a few years ago now. Is it's, it worth it's it? Been in, it's been in the mix for ages. But yeah, since 2013 CES, they showed it off. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Samsung um, are apparently not... They're, they are refusing to release their one mm -hmm. until they get it A1 and 100%. They've said that it will not hit the market. And when it does hit the market, it'll be there in very low quantity. Because they're expecting the market's going to be very niche. Not everyone's going to want one. Mm. But they said that's to be expected. Because they want to roll it out, show people how good it is. And then sales are going to gradually increase. But mm. apparently, um, how do you say it? Howie? Howie? Is it Howie? How do you say it? Mm. Um, apparently, theirs is releasing early 2019. Oh, there you go. The LG had their own as well. I saw LG's version yep. of it. Yep, yep, yep. They all had it. Have you seen LG's credit card TV? They call, I think it's, is it called the credit card TV? I think, I think it is. is. It, is it out now? Yeah, it just sticks to the wall. It's like that thin. Oh, really? It's like thin as fuck. Is it? It's not size of a credit card, is it? No, it's a, it's a, they call it credit cards because okay. it's, it's, it's thin as a credit thing. card. Oh, right, okay. And it's just like a little magnetic strip it sits on in the wall. Is that's it? Honey, I want to watch TV. Very <laughs> 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 <This> flips. <laughs> so yeah, Samsung revealing that's like it's, it's like I said, it's not old news. It's not new news, but it's not old news. Well. It, it is old news, but the new news is it's expecting it's expected to come out. It's, it's becoming official. to drop twenty nineteen. Yeah, but the article itself is more about Samsung saying um, that they've shed some light in the development pr process. Yeah, since twenty thirteen, apparently the design has changed like seventeen or eighteen times. Mm. They keep perfecting it apparently, yeah. but they're refusing to bring it out until they get it one hundred and ten percent. Yeah. 
Yep. So if you guys want to have a read of that, there it is. Um, I've got 10,000 tabs open, Jim. Samsung isn't in a hurry to rush out a half-baked product. They never are. Is what the person said they were interviewing. His name is Cody. Oh, really? Cody. Okay, so I have some more news from Microsoft. Microsoft sheds its aggressive patent control to support Linux, making over 60,000 open sources. You know, once upon a day, Microsoft didn't want a bar of Linux. <laughs> mm. Once upon a day. Well, it's like Microsoft said back in the day, they would never have Android on a, on a Microsoft phone. Yeah, that's right. And look at it now. Amalgamation station. It just comes comes together, doesn't Microsoft it? Microsoft phone, the new Surface phone will have Android on it. <laughs> Which is absolutely fantastic, because what it does mean for Android users like us, that there will be... Well, you've already got it on the new update. You said you had your phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've, I've got it here. Okay, so yeah. you had you were able to use you have your phone mirrored onto the onto the. Well, I actually had your it already. Companion. So I, I actually I actually had I actually had a program already doing doing that, but now it'll be integrated with Microsoft. Yeah. So it's it's very handy. Like as soon as you turn the computer on, this is on the October update. <clears> as soon as you mm -hmm. turn the computer on, it comes up on your phone, say connecting to Windows. Yeah. And then. See me personally, I absolutely loved Windows Phone. I loved it, but there was no app supporting what I wanted to do with it. I love having a phone that's directly connected to my PC. That sync was just perfect. It was just the operating system was shit. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. And yeah, the app yeah. and the app support was ridiculous. Like yeah. Facebook, it actually opened up the browser. It wasn't even a Facebook app. Yeah, it was ridiculous. It was. It was good because it, especially with the, yeah with the Windows OS, things yeah. are so easy to use. But I remember having a Windows phone and everyone's like, "Oh, dude, get this app. It's sick." Mm. I, I couldn't get it. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't get it. Danny, don't forget my link, Matt, while we're talking about Microsoft. I I want to talk about it, buddy, but I don't know enough. What is it? It's the... Who, see, I don't even know who he is. Someone passed away today? Oh, the um, one of the founders for Microsoft. If it was he a founder, was yeah, he? Yeah, he was a founder, yeah. Right. At what age did he die? I, I, I don't know 65, anything. 65, I think it was. Was it 65? Was yeah. It? I'm trying to find the damn article because I didn't click on it before. There you go, Eleanor. Did you hear the Paul Ellen, co-founder of Microsoft, passed away? Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Sixty-five. Do, do we know what he? What did he pass away from? Um. Oh, what was the article? I actually read it, but I can't remember what, why he passed. How he passed away? I can't remember. Rest in peace, Mr. Paul Allen. That is yes. tragic news. Tragic news. There you news. go, Danny. Put it up there. Thanks, Danny. Thanks, buddy. <clears throat> um. So yeah. So Linux. What's What's going to be with here? What What is going to be beneficial for Linux and Microsoft is it going to be better coding for them on their side is it going to make it more compatible with obviously using we'll say Windows Josh. Windows API yeah so software programs apparently Linux is at a bit of a halt now so like um, uh, in terms of usability or friendliness with Microsoft related mm -hmm. things yeah. and for years Microsoft have not released <laughs> I know Microsoft <laughs> have not I'm not even going to read that last Microsoft have not um wanted to release anything to the Linux community in terms mm. of making it um, compatible. Yeah. And apparently they have now 60,000 mm. Microsoft yeah. owned patents open source. Yeah. That is very, very cool. So this will allow, obviously allow Linux SDKs, developers and everything like that to uh, more fluently uh, involve Microsoft with Linux. Yep, exactly right. All right, so... I was a cancer. Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah right. Put a downer on the let's put a downer on the chat, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm gonna jump into to Thanks, the Danny. next next topic. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is sad. Honestly, if it wasn't for him and Bill Gates, we would not have what we have today. Nah, we'd still be using Apple, <laughs> IBM. <laughs> <laughs> well, not really, because Steve Jobs isn't around anymore either. No, but Steve Jobs and Apple still exist, though. If Steve Jobs didn't have, do what he did, hey, can you imagine if we didn't, if we never had Microsoft and we never had Apple? We well, would, I don't know what we'd have. I just thank God that Bill Gates did what he did in his garage. Yeah, yeah. If it wasn't yeah. for that, we would not have it here. Yeah. Um. So, our next topic: Zotec reveals their custom RTX twenty series graphics cards. Fantastic! I think the release date is tomorrow. For the twenty seventy is dropped tomorrow, guys. Get excited! So, so twenty the Zotec Extremes, a Amp Extreme, Extreme Core. Amp Edition, the 2070 FE, and the 27 Reference. They're all here. Um, so they're offering it as a 
the pretty much a two fan and stuff. a three fan design. Yeah, so you've got your tri fan, you got your dual fan. They actually look really good, to be honest. And if they don't light up RGB, it would be even better. The Zotac gaming lights up just like they do. Yeah, I know. I the, know. the the little logo. As you can see, guys, if you don't know, if you haven't seen yet, just just jump into the chats. We are currently running off the MSI <laughs> RTX Duke. It is literally doing fuck all. It's just sitting there, really. Um, fans aren't even, just aren't even spinning up, so... It's looking sexy. Yeah, it's just sitting there, running the stream. It's looking sexy. Probably sitting about 10%. <laughs> Not even. <laughs> uh, still in testing, obviously, guys. Stay tuned for a review on that one. Yeah, it's been, been going absolutely fantastic. Um, selling kidney for all the... <laughs> it's interested. There you go. So, it's a pretty cheap kidney, to be honest, for an RTX yeah, card. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. We can expect these cards to be, what was it, around six ninety nine uh, US dollars yes. on launch. Um, so, I don't know where the hell that places them for us here when the 20, uh, 2070s drop, which is tomorrow, you said? It's tomorrow. Uh, so, be sure to check out. I'm 99.9% sure that PLE will have them on their <laughs> website. <laughs> so, going to, so, we've got the Zotic RTX 2070 Amp Extreme, the Amp Extreme Core. Literally, almost identical. So the boost clock on the Amp Extreme goes to eighteen sixty, and the Extreme Core goes to eighteen fifteen. Wonder what other clock we can get with the Amp Extreme. Keeping in mind, because of GPU boost, when the card's happy, it'll probably boost higher than that anyway. It will definitely will. Yeah. Like yeah. I said, I, the max I was getting this book well, last night was nineteen thirty, and then I that's, was, I was capable I of being I almost one hundred hundred megahertz on top. How do they measure the boost when it doesn't stay there? Do they just literally start a benchmark? Go, oh, yep, the card peaked it there. That's the boost clock. No, it, it, it would be a, it would be a stable clock for sure. That's the end. It has to be stable. They can't just say, oh, it just hit it, because some people are jumping in like, oh, well, why isn't it why isn't it reaching your target? Yep. At all, you know, what was your? I guarantee their their clock was probably about nineteen hundred, and they've they've done a fourteen looks like a forty megahertz leeway buffer. Yeah. yeah. To say, all right, well. If you get past 1860, you've got a good card. Pretty much. Depends on cooling capacities, your case, everything else that comes with it. So 1860 is actually pretty good. Um, what do you think of the design? I think Zotac have gone with a bit of a minimalistic. They've gone very Pascal, I, I think, because the, the, dual, the dual series looks like a dual fan Pascal series card yeah it's got like them them aggressive edges isn't it yeah just like with the dual fan thing yeah marty what's going on buddy how you doing hey yeah marty how you going hey you marty um yeah but they look a bit boring for me it doesn't bother me to be honest they I don't. yeah look at this stage look, i love the fan edition <laughs> cards look you know how they are but i've got to say any cards of today Looks of doesn't really bother me as long as the, as long as performance yeah, is what I, performance is my main thing. Yeah, it, I want it's, performance. It's number one, guys. If you have not seen the Zotac Gaming RTX series box, you need to see it. Foxy Devil, eight months in a row. Thank you very whoop, much. Whoop. Thanks, Foxy. Thank you. Um, the box is so cool though. Have you seen the box of the Zotax? Yeah. You open uh, it up, it spins. Yeah. I'll buy it just for that. Yeah. <laughs> when you water block it, who cares on looks? Well, that's exactly right. Yeah, well, if exactly you're water blocking right. it though, you shouldn't get one of these. But for me, I, I look, you know, man, I hardly water block any of my, any of my graphics cards. And I think you'll, you, if you've got an RTX, you'd water block it, I reckon, this time around. Well, if I get a Founders, I won't. You won't. Really? Mm. If you got one of these, you wouldn't. I probably would. <laughs> the opposite. I'm the opposite. <laughs> hey, Foxy, how you going? Thanks for tuning in. So, but anyway, so going to our next, what, 2070, compared to what I've seen with the 1080, uh, 2080 so mm -hmm. far, is it would have to be, well, our guess is now, which is going to be the next topic anyway, is that it will have to obviously beat a 1080 and be close to a 1080 Ti. Well, it's usually the step, so the, the higher end previous generation gets overlapped by a lower end current generation card. yeah that's right so one would think that the 2070 would be the 1080 now, around the same sort of dollar as well well there is our next topic is actually stating that so the next topic is and take this with a grain of salt thank you overclock 3d oc 3d um as you can see here the gtx 2070 on a 3d mark score time spy reached 10,850 no 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 8, 1, 5, 8, 1, 5, 1. where am I going 
That's the third picture down. So oh, the, oh, it goes 2070, 2080, oh, 2080. Sorry, 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 sorry. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, wishes are um, Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, what, what, what was that? <laughs> so last night, I got 10,720 on my score, was it? Yeah, it was. What setting is this on? Because that's quite a good score. This must be on a 4K run, I think. Mm, do you reckon it will be? I'll, I'll, I'll get I was getting ten thousand seven. Actually, I'll, I can bring it up here. Actually, I'll bring a, a photo of it and I will. But that's the twenty. That's within twenty eighty Ti realm, mm. and you were getting that on a twenty eighty. So you must have been. You, you must have done it on a different preset or something. Hang on a second. We would like to think, but just to give you guys a comparison. So I got ten thousand seven hundred and twelve. That was my score yesterday. Yeah right, and that was the max you could reach on on the Duke. It would not go any higher. It would not go any higher. No. 10,712. Is that just from the standard Time Spy preset? This no, is... that's Time Spy. This is Fire Strike. Oh, is it? So there's a difference. No, it's Time Spy. No, it is too. I don't know. We're going to have to check that out. Give me one second. Let me see if I can bring it over here. Interesting. Just to give you guys some insight, uh, according to this article, the 2070 scored an 8151 score, and the 20, uh, 1080 out of the box scores about a 7,900 off the top, give or take depending on what variant card you have. So if this is correct, you're looking at a, oh, I'm going to say a roughly three to 400, depending on the card you get, um, point increase in time, sky, in time Spy, which is quite good, isn't it? Yeah, it is. That's that's a significant amount of frames. Just a recoil. What's going on, buddy? Who's about that? I'm, I'm going to try and get this photo. Jack who? Mm -hmm. Hey. How you doing, mate? I am excited. For yeah, the for the twenty seventy series, sorry, I'm excited for the twenty seventy series. I think it's actually going to change. That card is going to be the new standard. So when people go out and they buy a new machine, I reckon the twenty seventy is going to be the card. Really, you think that they, that they go and get? It's going to be like the most popular selling two series card because it's going to fit everyone's budget pretty well, and it's going to perform. So I want you guys to see. So this is actually a sneak. I don't, I don't sure you be doing this because they're going to be seeing a sneak peek. But it is talking tech. But we'll show it. This was. My top score for the MSI Duke. So, so far, and this is without no no CPU overclock, running a Stan XMP profile on the RAM. Um, it's it was, just the GP overclocked. It was just GP overclocked. It was 10,712. Got to be happy with that. Definitely. Definitely. If the Zotec cards of the 2080 Ti was getting, what's it, 10,000? 10, 10,850. 10,850, and I managed to get 10,712. It has to be at a different res. It has to be. It has to be. It has to be. 100%. But either way, 28 is actually a really good card. Compared to that, anyway. Eleanor says, so, uh, is the RTX better than the Titan? <laughs> you had to go there, didn't you? Mm. So you actually tested your Titan. Yeah. Uh, Lee actually owns a Titan XP. Um, and you actually tested that. Yeah. Keeping in mind it is a blower style card, I'm sure that if you got an aftermarket cooler for it, it would have done a lot better. Um, but you said it was quite comparable. In terms 100%. of performance. Out of the box, the Titan XP would beat the 2080. So, sorry, out of the box, the 2080, the Titan XP still beats it. Overclocked the 2080. Um, I will finalise my scores tonight, and I'm pretty sure the 2080 is on par with it, or just beats it. Wow. So, for that 12 or $1,300 premium, you can get what a 1900 to 2K card gives you. Previous gen. <laughs> wow. So, yeah. Wow. We'll I'll finalise my scores tonight and I'll see what it actually can, what, what it's going to reach and I'll try and overclock my card for the first time to see what it can because it still may beat it yet so I will confirm tonight. Yeah, because you haven't even touched your card yet. No, nothing at all. My card's never been overclocked. So, Eleanor, I think it's safe to say that if you, and this goes for anyone in the chat, if you have the extra cash dollar and you want to go out and buy a kick-ass card, you don't need the 2080 Ti to get a kick-ass card. I'm pretty sure that the 2080 will do you just fine. 100%. If you're running a 1080p, even 1440, you'll... Have no well, you were whatsoever. saying you were getting what 120 FPS on COD, 118 maxed FPS, out. maxed out, maxed out. Yeah, nuts! Oh, nuts! Profanity says mine was 9296 on 3D benchmark. What 3D benchmark, buddy? And you have it, yeah, here's a 2080, yeah, he does too. Mm. Um, on 3D benchmark, what one? See, that doesn't say there's a set of reasons on this. Yeah. No, it shits me. Are you sure? Shit, shit. Uh, no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. No. Like it's 
piss poor to be honest. But anyway, yeah. look, I said, take it with a grain of salt. We have no idea what res they're running at. So, yeah. I'm keen to see as well because we know that the voltage slider maxes out at 110 mm-hmm. percent um, on the 28 and 28 Ti. I reckon it'll be 10 um, percent higher on the 2070. I reckon. Yeah. I reckon the 2070, long story short, will have a bit more overclocking headroom. You reckon? Yeah, because once again, I think it's going to be that sweet spot card. So I think most people are going to buy it, and I think that's going to have the most, the most pizzazz. I'm still thinking about. that 2070 is still going to be just more of a, um, a pre-built card than it will be. It's a high. It's going to be a high end pre-built card. I reckon the 28 will still be the stock card. Everyone will go for. I see. Still think the 28 will be the norm. Yeah. Keep in mind, it's still a 1300 dollars card. Not many people yeah. have. You know, that factored into their budget when they go and buy a computer. Everything else is... Like, especially um, CPUs now, because they've gone up in, in, in price. Yeah, well, Intel CPUs go up in price. Yeah. Well, AMD is like, well, look at that fiasco between um, what Intel did. It was ridiculous, mm. I'd say. Mm. But, um, look. Oh, thank you, Profanity. That's awesome. What's that? He posted up his Time Spy, uh, Time Spy score oh, did he? in the Talking Tech Discord channel. Okay. Uh, Peace <clears> on his <throat> Discord channel. Oh, which one was Hey, me? buddy. Hey, 21 Crow. Thanks for tuning in, mate. 21 Crow. It's been a while, buddy. Guys, don't forget, I've seen a couple of new people join in. Hashtag PC49PLE uh, to, to potentially win a $50 gift voucher. Exactly right. If you are not from Australia, send us a PM. And if you do win, send us a PM and we'll definitely take care of you like we did with Super Pink. Super Pink. Eventually. Super eventually, Pink. eventually got there. I actually saw that that got resolved yesterday. Or the day oh, before. no, it got resolved like three days ago. Oh, but did? Yeah, I, I just, on the admin chat, well, the actual tr- proper chat. Oh, right. So okay. you guys, everyone else knows it got resolved. Okay. Yeah. Keeping in mind, guys, we should say at the start of the stream, but Alan, we'll say it again Alan's now. has got her fingers crossed. Oh. <laughs> you do need to be in the chat when we give away this prize to be available. Exactly right. You have to if be you here, and you have to say thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so as we'll chat, as, as you were stating before, mate, uh, yes. Samsung might. Oh, I better go into the extra so everyone can see it. Uh, Samsung might ha- might wave goodbye to the headphone jack after next year's Galaxy S10. Already talking about S10. So many phones. The come Note's up. not just got released. You got the Pixel Three, which I'm looking at. I know. Probably getting. I know. Um, I don't know. For me, it's a necessity at the moment. But then again, I've got a Bluetooth headset, so it, it's not really going to bother me as much. Would it bother you? Yeah, I reckon. Really? Can you imagine? All right. So and don't be wrong, I don't want the phone to be thinner. Like I don't need the phone to be paper thin. That's why they're getting rid of it because apparently they can fit in a lot more if they take out the massive hole that is underneath the phone for the headphones. <laughs> right? Which is fair enough. They can probably fit, you know, yeah, an, yeah. an extra module in there, and they can make the phone thinner. How mm-hmm. thin does your phone need to be? Yours is thin enough, yeah? No, mine's fine. For God's sakes, you know? Like, mine is completely fine. I have no issues whatsoever. But pulling it out, I don't think it's going to have any... Deeny. What's that? The Pixel 3 excites me. Pixel that phone 3. looks sick. It does. It, it looks does. awesome. But I'm, I really want one. I'm spewing. I'm, I'm actually with Vodafone, and Vodafone don't bring the Pixels yet. So it's, oh, always, really? it's always Telstra. I always see, I see advertisements for it everywhere now. Yeah. It looks sick. Pixel 3 comes with a USB Type-C headphones. Earphones, yes, they do. Type-C they is the way of life, I think. I think it's just how things are going to go now. Everything is Type-C. Type-C is awesome. Type-C yeah. is awesome. So, guys, what are your thoughts on removing the 3.5mm jack? Interesting. Is so, it like I said, for me, I had no no dramas as long as I don't... I don't need my, my phone any thinner. But, like I said, I've got a Bluetooth headset, mm. so it doesn't really bother me at all. Mm, 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 mm. Nor would it be... And not, nor would it affect my daily use of my phone. At all. You need a headphone jack, says Eleanor. Well, you can, because apparently, the new Galaxy... I don't know how they know this, mm-hmm. because it's so early. Will come with a USB-C adapter. So you can plug it into the bottom, plug your headphones into the bottom. Obviously, yeah. Like every other phone and Apple, the same shit. Oh, back to what I was going to say before. Imagine if you went out and bought a... Well, you have. You, you bought your expensive headphones. What are they? Mm-hmm. The MSR 7s. You can't use them. Yeah, you can. Yeah. You go from USB-C to... Yeah, I'm saying part. if that didn't exist. If, if they took out the 3.5mm jack, you'd be stuffed. No, you go from USB-C to 3.5. If that didn't exist. Oh. 
You know what I'm saying? If, they, you, if, it, was, if it wasn't invented. Yeah. yeah. So you're saying so if you take away that jack, you can't use them phone, uh, headphones at all. So you just went out and bought five hundred dollar headphones, mm. sub five hundred dollar headphones. You can't use them. You know what? You actually got a point there. And they're I, forcing you to use their product. Well, I, the reason, and I, I think this is the reason why they, they've got this option. They can do it. One, if the phone is just sitting there and you're listening to music, you have your choice to have wireless charge. Hmm. So you can wireless charge your phone while plugging into a USB-C type or you have a Bluetooth headset. Simple. It's one, one adapter that comes off the USB-C at the bottom and just goes branches into like 10 things. It's got a bay. <laughs> Pretty much. Wireless charging adapter, USB port, headphone jack. Uh, <laughs> Art says, it shits me that my iPhone 7 Plus doesn't have a headphone jack. Yeah, well, it's, it, it's what it is. Yeah, all right, that's fair enough. But there was a hack for that. You could just get the drill and drill a hole Slick. and that worked. My Nokia 3310 is <laughs> <laughs> How's the Elgato stream deck going, buddy? You, show, you, sent, me, you sent me a photo of, um, of the Heather deck set up. Yeah, yeah. And it's literally, it's his, it's his face everywhere. <laughs> Every single tile has Slick's face on it. It must have been obviously sounds or remotes or when he <laughs> does that moist thing. That yeah. moist thing? Yeah. Interesting. Beast mode, I think it's called. So yeah, guys, if you want to have a read that article, I'll chuck it in here. Um, but that's some news, apparently, on the next upcoming Samsung lineup. Then it has an image of the Note 9. And it says, Samsung Galaxy Note 9 with a 3.5mm headphone jack. Yeah, I know. Even amazing. though we're talking about taking it away. <laughs> uh, so next topic, Blast from the Past. <sighs> cool Master releasing the Hyper Blackout, Hyper 212 black edition i've got to be honest i was not a fan of this cooler oh these used to be so popular and so good back in i the day. know but i was never i was never i was never a fan of it oh really yeah the clipping system was shit to be honest really yeah i didn't like it. i didn't for, like it at all i think i paid 79 bucks for mine mm -hmm. best 79 bucks i've spent because yeah. i remember this was one of the first coolers i used it took like 20 degrees off my temperatures mm -hmm. i was freaking loving it yeah, no, I was at, at, at look, I'm sorry, cool master, but I wasn't a fan of it back then. Really? Um, I don't know about now, to be honest, but j it was just the mounting system they had. Um, mounting it to the CPU block, or to the CPU socket was ridiculous as well. All those, cl those clips, mm, those mm. H clips you had, mm. always kept them moving. You know, and you, if, you didn't sit the, if you didn't sit the case properly and you, you, you went to go mount it up and then the, the whole fan system would just move, what, maybe two or three mil. <laughs> So you see it moving and it's the pace is going everywhere. I'm like, oh, like it was ridiculous, you know. They they are, but that is a very good point, Rog. They are very very blast from the past. Do you remember yeah. the Vantec Tornado? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh yes, yes. How, how can you forget that? But yeah, this is one of the most popular. I'd have to say hands down, the two one two was. It was yeah, it was a good seller too. Popular. Like where where I used to work, it used to, it was like hotcakes. Yeah, you know. Yeah, and yeah. I'm actually yeah. glad they've gone all black as well. I was actually. That I, I like the design. I must say I'm not dissing the actual cooler itself. I just had it when I had my, which I'm hoping they've tweaked the mounting bracket, which I'm sure they have. Um, that it's a lot better than what it used to be. Oh, I guarantee it would be. Yeah, yeah. But guys, you can see now. Um, well, one one of the things I actually like about it um, is the fact that they're, they're using black anodized aluminium. Yep. Um, for the the heat spreaders and the top cover. Yep. And it doesn't have RGB. Mm -hmm. I think for a product that doesn't have RGB nowadays, that looks freaking sexy. Yeah, it does. It does. Doesn't it? Well, black makes everything. Right? It's just an yeah, that's it. It's just a nice, sleek, cooler that I'm sure does well for the price that you yeah. pay for it. Yeah, the fin stack looks actually it looks really good, doesn't it? It does. I it wonder does. how it'll be without the fan. What cooling cap what, what cooling capability you'll be able to get it without the fan? <clears> it'll still work fine. It, but, it all yeah. depends on your case. If you yeah. ha if you have adequate airflow, you yeah. could probably run it without a fan. Yeah, but guys, you want to check that one out? I'm pretty sure it releases next week. Um, they've already got the 212 out, um, but if you want this sleek, sexy black edition, yeah, you're going to have to wait till next week. Oh, uh, no. It looks like this, it's the same mounting brackets. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. So how if you how, are, how if can you, it be, though? If you are going to buy it, yeah. just make sure your case is laying flat. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You can't. Most schools like that. Yeah. Hmm. Though, it most, is. No, but most of them have... The, the mounting the mounting sockets are actually once a one piece so they they go on the back and, and they then it locks up. it up yeah 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 doesn't matter then it is stealth I think that's what I like about it. I think I like the black mm. it looks cool doesn't it I think yeah well I suppose you, you you run into that when you get an air cooler full stop I think and that's hitting the RAM I yeah. think Trident X just clears it had that problem too yeah I'm I'm, I'm pretty sure but um most people that run 
big ass coolers are forced to run like um, Corsair LTX RAM and stuff like that. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah, yeah, stuff. yeah. There were so many times where I had people come back in. Oh, I've got the cooler. It's too big. Oh, the RAM's too big. Or oh, it's too high. Oh, yeah, mm, yeah. there's uh, you have to take that into account. This is an interesting one. It is very, isn't it? This one. Um, I haven't read much onto this. One. I know, I know of it. I know, I know what's released. But my my what I'm seeing here is I saw a photo. I'm just gonna skim down. Mm -hmm. Is how this, sick yes, is that? Is, yeah. so how are, sick is that? Are those keycaps? Are they keycaps? They are a keycap set. Yeah. If this goes through and the control pad does get released. Mm -hmm. Cooler Master are going to make keycap sets for Photoshop, Illustrator, and um, Premiere Pro. Okay. So, so it's just macros, really. But the the software that comes with the control yeah. um, pad is already going to be pre-programmed. So all you, all you do is hit the Photoshop profile, change the keycaps, and that's it. you got you, you got a full... So Sam Green will absolutely oh, really love this. Sam this, Green this, will, this will be... He'll yeah. throw it. He'll throw yeah. it. Guaranteed. Because I see him all the time. He's he's literally macroed his old keyboard when he's when he's when he's drawing. And yeah, yeah this will be yeah, cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. So guys, um, basically, Core Master are gonna be thinking about bringing their control pad. Um, and you, it's actually on Kickstarter. It's a Kickstarter project. They're gonna see how popular it is. It's been a few companies doing that. Have you realised? A, a few big companies it's, going it's, going it's to Kickstarter to see if it's actually actually worth it. It's because the tooling for this would be so expensive. So what you pay for Kickstarter? So if you get if they've got a three hundred thousand dollar you know, um, what do you call it? Target to yeah, reach yeah, yeah. or yep. goal to reach. Yep. That, that that's what's going to cost for the tooling to actually create this new or new product. So it's not, it's not a cheap exercise. No, it's not. Long story short. So what they're doing is pretty much getting the free tooling. Like you you guys want it? Yep. You'll get a discounted price on your on the first ones that come out, but it's going to cost two or three hundred thousand dollars for tooling to actually create the product. And then obviously they start manufacturing mm, it because mm, once mm, they start, mm. once the tooling is actually done, so the tooling is making of the product, the actual, you know, um, what's the word for like um, oh, I'm trying to think of the word. I, I'm having a blank as well. I know what you mean. Creating the product itself, right? Yeah. So the concept of the actual prototype, the, the actual prototype, for a full working prototype. That tooling costs so much money for the manufacturers to create. Once they've got the tooling set down and, and it's pretty much pre-made, then it's cheap to product. Yeah, Pro because then, cheap, then, then you can mass produce. From exactly, from mass your produce, own, exactly right. Yeah. So pretty much anything that's come from Kickstarter, it's not so much paying for the engineering and paying for the design and so forth. It's actually paying for the tooling to get the product designed and created in mass production. That's what the most, most of the money comes into. If you guys hop on the Kickstarter at the moment, you can uh, pledge towards it. Uh, and the Kickstarter ends on November 25th. It's not even open that long. Mm -hmm. uh, at 12.25 p.m. UTC um, is when that ends. But you can see as well on the actual device, mm -hmm. um, it's got two scroll wheels at the top as well. So if you go to the actual device... Up, up. Yep. Yep. So that, that gives you a whole lot more... As well, because you can zoom in and out on the yeah, fly as well. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. basically turning into a drawing pad without the drawing. Mm. You've got the pad there. You've got all your controls. Yeah. All you need is your mouse and this pad, and you're good. Yeah. You're good to go. Zoom in, edit, um, grab an object, make it bigger, smaller, everything like that without having to use the mouse. Find that little box and drag it in and out. Yep, How cool is that? Right. Now, if you were using, would you buy three of them if you were using all three programs? If you had Photoshop, Illustrator, I wonder Premium. how that would work. I wonder if the software would pick up that you had three. Like, I'll be, it'll, just, it'll just be profile, if something wrong. It'll, be, yeah. it'll, be, it'll just be a profile on the actual keyboard itself. But my thing is, if you use all three programs, you, do you buy three different pads? That can work. You just unplug one when you're not using it. Or you get all three plugged in. If the software picks it up. That's yeah. what I mean. Yeah, yeah. 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 It would Kick start that one cool. It would, definitely be, it would definitely be firmware on the actual board itself. Yeah, definitely. So profile one would be, you know, Photoshop. Profile profile two will be Illustrator, and then profile three will be, you know, Premiere. Yep. That is cool as hell. Uh, Sean ninth sixteen eighty four can can get a Ryzen twenty six hundred and an eighty three fifty K both around two thirty five and an i five for a little bit more. Okay, so I'm going back to what he really has said. So, want to build the kids' new PC? Stuck on what CPU? What is your opinion between the Ryzen 2600 i3 8350K 
and the i5 8400. I know what you're going to say. Go for it, buddy. Which one? You're going to say the i5. So am I? Yep. Why? Because from memory, that processor about 50 bucks more than the i3. Mm -hmm. And it's got two cores and two threads more. Exactly right. <laughs> so go for that one. Yep. <laughs> so yeah, no, I would definitely rec recommend the i5 8400. Even for performance wise, even against the i5 2600, the 8400 will probably last about a little bit longer. And for gaming, at least, it'll give you a bit more performance. It's not about how much you spend, it's about spending that little bit extra if it's 50 bucks or so more and getting this much more longevity out of it versus oh, this much. How many customers have you had said, look, I've got $300 and I cannot, I can't go past 300 bucks and you've got to literally budget in between $300. You know what though? Every time I quote somebody up like that and the quote's always 330, 340, they'll always do it. Yeah. After they've told me 80 million times that they won't, that they mm. won't go above I'm 300. I'm maxed out, I can't do any more, but if you get this, it's just about being, being a salesman, really, but yeah, it was, mm, mm, mm. it's um, interesting, isn't it? So, yes, I would definitely recommend going for the 8400. That's a really good rig for a kid's machine, to be honest. Send it to Uncle Matt, I'll delete it for you. One pause. Hello, how are you going? One pause, enter it. The competition's open, we haven't drawn it yet. No, we haven't. Five more minutes. So you got five more minutes to enter. We remember. Are, we are awesome. Remember. Each, each entry that goes into this is less one, of a chance that Alan one, gets the winner. Exactly. <laughs> Alan is supposed to say, no, don't enter. <laughs> no, she said enter, enter. Don't enter. <laughs> She's putting herself on the Alan, phone. You're, honestly, you've actually got a really good chance to not, because not many people have entered. <laughs> <laughs> so, hashtag PC419PLE. <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys. Don't forget, you have to be here to win it. I've said this before, I'll say it again. Notice a couple of people have been leaving. They can't win it. So there's a greater chance for somebody in the chat to win it. That's exactly right. Alright, so yeah. How's it straight how is it going? It's still kicking. Still kicking. <laughs> still kicking. <laughs> it's sitting there, fans aren't kicking yet. Look at the nothing. fans, they're going nuts. It's, yeah, it's going Actually it's, it's blowing a gale, isn't it? It is, isn't it? Yeah, so loud <laughs> I can't hear it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Now don't forget. Um, I know you wanted to, I don't know when you wanted to show it off, but we actually have another one to test that we haven't shown anybody yet. No? Oh, right. Okay. All right. <laughs> right. That was at the end of the show. Ah, okay. End of the show. All right. Um, so for our next topic, we've got the Razer Phone 2 launch. It has launched. It looks absolutely fantastic. It looks exactly like the Razer Phone 1. <laughs> 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 I have seen absolutely very minimal difference between the one and the two, bar from internal improvements, we should say, or spec. Internal spec was is a lot better. Screen is, I think, exactly the same as it's well. It's using the same processor. No, I think it's got more RAM on this one. Uh, both 1440p. Apparently, the only difference... I think it's glass at the back as well. The only difference is the glass at the back yeah. because the other one didn't have wireless charging. No, it didn't. This one has the glass at the back for wireless charging. Yeah. And this one now has the RGB Chroma backlit logo. <laughs> everyone's, enter everyone's entering the uh, competition just to beat Eleanor now. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if she won. It'd be good if she actually wins tonight. <laughs> Guys, don't forget to enter, please. Eleanor, I love you. I hope you win. <laughs> After saying that, I'm sorry. Um... Did you see on, it was actually on Facebook, it was on Minland, uh, Min's, yeah, Min's um, Facebook page. Some guy tattooed his face on his leg for the, the first Razer Phone 1 when it got released. So the guy did it. Now the Razer, Razer, the Razer 2 got released and now the Min's sending him another phone because he's got, he, he tattooed his face on his leg. That's just like the grand final. I saw somebody tattoo West Coast um, premieres. 2018, before, before, before they won. Four days before the before the grand final. Why would you do that? Ridiculous. Why would you do that for? Um, anyway, it's my turn, so you all can stop entering now. <laughs> there are uh, there are actually a bit more differences. Mm -hmm. no, I was just I just told you the the yeah the of course there is. you can actually get accessories now. Mm -hmm. And if you scroll up a little, you can get that wireless charging yeah, dock, wireless. which has freaking RGB on it. Yep. <laughs> um, the camera's a little bit better as well. 
Uh, which is good. Slightly better, yeah. So it's got a Snapdragon 845. It's got 8 gig of DDR4 RAM in it. Um, vapor chamber cooling. Vapor chamber cooling as well. It's got a 5.72 IGZO LCD screen. It is IP67, I think. Or is it IP68 now? I'm pretty sure that was 67. So it's IP67. So it's a bit more splash proof. Uh, Windows, uh, it's got Android 8.1. Android 8.1. Android 8.1. Android 8.1. Um, RG Illuminated Razor Chroma logo. Oh, fantastic. That's it. You say that it's $300 more. Yeah. Mephisto Hate said it. Awesome. A bunch of overpriced accessories to go with overpriced phones. Pretty much. Um, I'll probably still buy it. <laughs> I'll still want it anyway. <laughs> Regardless of it. No, honestly, the, the phone I'm waiting for, bar from the Pixel 3, is that fucking Asus phone. Yeah, so, I like can't that. wait for that one. Yeah. yeah, that's my next phone, I think. Rog says, next mobile to come out has a vape pen and stylus for streamers on the go. How sick would that be? A, va- yeah. a vape in your phone. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine everybody just on the train stuck on their phone on the way home from work. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> That's awesome. So yeah, Razor Phone to be released. It's actually available now. I think it's available, I think it's available now. Let me check the Razor Store. Oh, I have to keep this tab open for this one because I've got to read the, the comments. I love reading the comments on these things. That's right. Oh, on the actual oh, yeah. uh, on the on the yeah. articles, especially for something like this. Um, let me see if it's available. I'm pretty sure it is. I know it's available in the US because when Min was actually live, it was available. But do we get it straight away? Mobile. Bum, bum, bum. Yes. Oh, oh, fuck, unavailable. Unavailable. Pricks. Is it proprietary that you use their wireless charger as well? No. <laughs> Like you can't whack a Samsung one on it? It'll be any, any wireless charger will do it. It won't surprise me. So it comes in a selection of colours. Mirror black. <gasps> He's here. Throbbing fish rectum. No, this is not a rerun. <laughs> Welcome. We're waiting for you. What's going Welcome. on, mate? Throbbing fish rectum. Enter the competition, uh, mate. So it comes in a plethora of colours. Mirror black. That's it. <laughs> Does it now? Yeah. <laughs> um, and it is not available. You can notify me. Features. Obviously, it's got its basic features on here. 120 hertz panel. Um, stay cool in the heat of battle. <laughs> Keep a chamber cooling. <laughs> let your creative eye take over. Whatever the fuck that means. But uh, let your cre- uh, Razor Chroma trademark is here. It's, this is a whole lot of shit. But you know what? I still like it. I still want it. <laughs> <laughs> I must have it. I must have it. Um... It's, don't go away. Look at the nose. Actually, went somewhere else. <laughs> yeah. Oh so anyway, we'll see. We'll soon see. You had a mad nap. I'm glad you madly woke up. Awesome. You know, I learnt a new word this week. Did you? I have a thing with what, words. An English word. Can anybody tell me what this means? Off the off the top of your head, cantankerous. I, I have these words that I hear and they just get stuck. Capitulation was my one before. Now it's cantankerous. Does anybody know I what can't can, spell it. cantankerous well, it means? Comes up, comes up straight away. I use it three or four times on my on my trip away. Bad tempered, argumentative, and uncooperative. That's that's off yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> Is that mean enough? That's you. All right. Matt, okay. Matt Cantacarus. <laughs> <laughs> Cantacarus um, is my new word. We are going to go to our last topic for tonight. It is nine thirty-two. We're a bit late, so GPUZ Google. now detects and warns users about fake GPUs. So Alibaba. <laughs> All you Alibaba's out there. Eat a dick. Has it, what's that she say? Is that, is that what, how it comes up? Woo! <laughs> Fake NVIDIA Woo. GeForce GTS 10. How does it detect it? How would it know? The BIOS. On the card. What, the it, version of the BIOS? It, it'd have to be the BIOS on the card. It'd but that's like be. telling in your face. You're Fake. A, you're, a, you're a dick. <laughs> Go spend your money. Stop Alibaba. Right? <laughs> Alibaba. It's fake. It's fake. <laughs> But what do you look up though? Like when you press look up, what's it do? Oh, I want to, buy, I want to get a fake GPU. If mobile. you press the look up button, it reports you to the police. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> you know what? I'm actually going to invest. I'm actually going to buy a fake GPU from Alibaba. It was, did you watch that episode where Linus bought the fake 1080 and 1060 and stuff like that? Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, yeah and did you see he paid like three quarters of the price or something? Or half the price? It was, I think it was half the price. And yeah. it was actually a 10... It had a weird amount of memory, whatever it was. It was 5 gig. That, yeah, that it was testing. Yeah, yeah 5 gig, yeah. Something weird. Because it's China's version. China has 5 gig apparently. Mm. So China's, because of the, the, amount of, the amount of cafes they have in China, that 1 gig less and the cards which they don't use, right? 
um, won't utilize because of playing Dota League of Legends and CSGO. Mm-hmm. Um, they can save like 50, 60 bucks of each card. So you're talking about hundreds of machines. Right. 60 bucks of, of each card is a lot of money. So they buy a card that's 6 gig and they have some little person in a alleyway with the solving iron just taking taking what <laughs> get fucking <laughs> <laughs> yeah nah um oh, I've got to say Pandizzy Pandizzy thank you for the follow much appreciated Pandizzy what was like we can hear it then we can't hear it look at this go, this guy yeah I, d- I didn't hear that actually yeah to be honest. it means being a douche canoe cantankerous and douche canoe <laughs> are, are quite alike actually thank you that's actually a good analogy Oh, oh, did you put the thing in the chat? Ali Barber and the 40 bikies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you want to know what the hell that means? Cantankerous? <laughs> Cantankerous. Cantankerous. Um, the best man used it in his wedding, in the wedding speech. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> and I was, um, I was a bit drunk. I went, I went lie. And I was mm. like, Cantankerous. That's an amazing word. <laughs> I want to be one of those. <laughs> <laughs> let, let me, let me put that in my vocabulary. That's it. It is a giggle dictionary. <laughs> <laughs> So, fake, fake, fake. <laughs> Take your fake asshole. <laughs> it's got a question mark even in this PC. <laughs> it's a bus interface. That's actually awesome. It's a good feature. It is. It's cool. I like it how it still tells you about the card. Yeah, how fake it is. It just, it just <laughs> says it's fake. Pretty much. Um, well, I'm actually going to invest in one. I want to I see how good it really is. And we'll, t- mm. and we'll, do, and we'll do a video about it. Mm. So, um, I know we've been saying for a long time, I'm gonna, we're still gonna finish this here. Um, <laughs> oh no, we're gonna say, uh, about obviously myself doing reviews and getting a bit more content content out in videos. They are coming, bar from the review, review videos I've currently got in lineup, even just standard videos we're putting out on a weekly basis, they will come. I do appreciate for everyone's patience. And I've been, uh, how many people, how many questions <laughs> have people asked us on what? Read Mephisto hates. <laughs> That's a good one, buddy. My uncle at a wedding I went to last week and started by saying, the groom, we are all glad your last name isn't... Talia. <laughs> and his cousin's name is Jenna. Oh. <laughs> That's a good one. Oh. Um, I feel sorry for her. So, yeah. So, I really do appreciate everyone um, and their patience, too. And I've... I've so many, well, Matt's been... Well, Matt's... Everyone's been asking Matt these questions. Why hasn't Lee been doing any content and reviews? Um, bar from the injury and a few things that I've had to happen so far with me, I've sort of recovered now. I'm getting few, a few, I'm getting over a few other things as well, and also a bit of stuff in the personal life. Um, I do appreciate everyone, absolutely everyone, that and including Matt. That was the bridge. Yeah, you weren't quite over it before. Me, uh, me. Yeah. <laughs> I really do appreciate everyone um, waiting and having a lot of patience with myself. And don't worry, guys, these videos will be coming out, and. Yeah, having much fun with them. Can't wait. After packs, you'll see when everything comes up. Um, now let's draw this fucking let's draw prize. This prize. Let's draw the prize, guys. Tell you straight out, if it's one of the admins, bar from Eleanor, I'm re-rolling it. And if it's Vincent, he ain't getting it. <laughs> oh nuts! Oh nuts! <laughs> oh nuts! Where are you, buddy? No! <laughs> Says Eleanor. This, this is, is rigged. not rigged. <laughs> oh, nuts. Congratulations, buddy. Can you send you can... me a private message on Facebook, mate? And I will get that code out to you as soon as possible. You know, this is actually quite a good scenario for you, Nuts, because you can actually use your name. <laughs> oh, Nuts didn't win. <laughs> um, in a sentence now. Because it's actually valid. Pretty he much. actually won. Oh, Nuts. Yeah. Oh nuts! But would it be oh nuts would be like the sort of opposite, like oh shit, he didn't win. But I think it's enough to think That's of an, awesome. think of another Twitch account yeah. namely. Anyway, guys, I would like to thank everyone as well. I'll thank MSI for um, obviously <laughs> giving us the uh, the MSI Duke re- for review. It was just thank you so much, benchmarking MSI. and still finalising. Um, it it, is, back, it is running the stream tonight. It has been absolutely fantastic. Quite as a fucking mouse, <laughs> to be honest. We haven't heard of it. Um, so absolutely fantastic guys. I will give my recommendations and I will get you my final review on what I think on the MSI Duke. But before we do leave, and I even though this is MSI's sort of, uh, take on talking tech for tonight, another one did arrive and it has been silently sitting behind <laughs> the MSI Duke. We need to lift it up though. Cause yeah, nobody can, Jesus is here. Yeah. 
<laughs> so today, the RTX, the GeForce RTX ASUS Strix 2080, 2080 has arrived. So I have another card I'll be reviewing this week as well. My God, if they don't come one at a time, they'll come, they'll come one hit. So, and there's another one on its way too. So, <laughs> don't, it's not the same as another. Yeah, no, that'll be no. up. They'll be up a tax. <laughs> so yeah, so it is the Rog Strix gaming graphics card as well. It's gonna be absolutely fantastic. We'll be, I'll be doing. While I've got the Duke here, we'll, we'll be doing a comparison between the two cards, um, head to head. Hopefully, it's you know the, we'll see how the Duke's going. The Duke is performing very well so far. We'll see what the Asus can do at the same time, um, and. Performance-wise, I don't know. Yeah, we'll it's see. It's going to be head-to-head, head, really. We'll see. I, I, I wish the other card arrived at the same time because I can do all three in one hit, but then I'll be overloaded for packs and I can fuck with all that. So, <laughs> yeah, trying to get through things. But the Asus Strix has arrived finally. This was the one that actually was missing. I should know. That wasn't. That's not the missing card. They're not, they sent me another oh, card. Oh, so they couldn't find the missing card. No, they still haven't found that one yet. A bit of an update, guys. Yeah. Um, well, a bit of an update. A bit of an FYI. Uh, we were supposed to receive this card how long ago? Uh, About three weeks ago? Two weeks ago. Two weeks ago? This card here is another one, Lee just said, but yeah. they actually sent us one and it's lost. Yeah. <laughs> they, the can't, they can't find that one. They still can't find it? No. Wow. So Asus sent me another one. Um, wow. Oh, so it's on Asus as well. It's, that, that it's curious. That posty pinched it. Guaranteed. Oh, well, well, look, even when they come, you know, you can tell it's it's got something. MSI's got an MSI stickers all over it. and really? Asus got, Asus So that's stickers their mistake. All over it. If they didn't put stickers on it, yeah, they wouldn't, they it, wouldn't pick it. It wouldn't be stolen. So, yeah. Um... I can't wait to be honest. See what the uh, what the Asus can do, but MSI has been performing really, really well so far. So right, that is a sexy card. Mm. I've never considered a Duke. Yeah, I still I still won't because my case won't fit it. <laughs> but I will uh, I will definitely keep that in mind if I ever do change case. Yeah. Oh, because I won't fit in your case, wouldn't it? Is it, is it, is it like, how much bigger? <laughs> Fuck off! That makes me laugh. <laughs> how much bigger is the card to your case? Oh, oh it, it definitely wouldn't fit. 100%. Definitely wouldn't fit because I've got the water cooling in there. Got the is that why, but yeah, I've got the pump res sitting yeah. um, on the on one side, and there's not much. Room. I'm so lucky that my pump res is like the, the card just slips behind it. Like, oh, really? Literally, really? I reckon it wouldn't be th- not even four or five mil. Like, yeah. If you had to like jiggle it out, the card's hitting up against the res. But if you put it in nice and neat, it will fit in snug. The Lian Lee um, 011 is actually a great case. It yeah. is one of the best cases, but it's very tweet like a tweaker. Yeah. 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 So there you go, guys. RTX is here at the PC49 studio. So I'm working very hard to get these, all these reviews and benchmarking done. There's so much to do. <laughs> so tell me about it. Anyway, we'll love to see you guys here next Tuesday. Don't forget this weekend with the CSGO tournaments. We'll have a lot more updates from now till... Saturday morning to get the guys, let you guys know what's going on completely. It's going to be a hectic week. It will be. <sighs> Make sure you tune in, guys. Yes. Uh, Matt put the Strix in mine. I Man, you intercepted it. it. <laughs> Buddy, I kept it for you. I kept it for you. Throbbing fish. We'll talk. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> and thanks to all our sponsors too. So we've got PLE, Cooler Master and Battable. Thank you once again. Thank you, PLE, for your $50 gift voucher. Battable for our, 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 us sitting on these every single week. And Cooler Master, you know, for the MK750 that I use every single week. Fantastic. That was pointless. I know. Couldn't get it out. <laughs> and thank you so much to MSI for sending us out the 2080 Duke. Yes, it is. Having an absolute so pleasure. Much. I know. Fantastic. Pleasure. Um, it's raid time. It's raid time. It's raid we, time speaking on. of raid, we've actually just been hosted from Aussie um, with five viewers. Oh, Welcome. Welcome. We are We're about to raid someone extremely else. Extremely <laughs> apologetic that you missed out on winning a prize tonight. It's yeah. your fault because you're watching Aussie. <laughs> yes. Um, make sure you hit that follow button. Uh, we're here every Tuesday at 8 p.m. AEDT now. Is that correct? AEDT? Yes, AEDT. Uh, for your chance to win some prizes, talk shit, talk tech, have fun. Exactly right. Long story short. Who are we um, going to raid? Who can we raid? Oh, this is, this is the hardest decision. We actually should have decided this earlier because oh, now, no. now, now you quickly have to go through on the fly. Mm. I'm assuming Aussie's not going to want to get hosted. Obviously, no. Because. Why don't we raid. <sighs> Let's raid Salty. Oh, yeah, cool. Okay. Salty, salty Hungarian, yeah? Yeah. Salty Hungarian. She's actually. An, I'm pretty sure she's an Australian streamer. Mm. Um, but she actually has just moved to Japan. So she's actually living in Japan now. She's streaming all the way from Japan. 
So as soon as, you, as, soon as, as soon as the rate goes in, guys, do jump in, send her a follow, subscribe if you like. She's a fantastic streamer. She does a lot of um, Elder Scrolls Online. Oh, awesome. She, what's she playing now? Elder Scrolls Online. Awesome, <laughs> awesome, awesome. <laughs> All right, here's the raid. Thank you so much, guys, and we'll see you guys next Tuesday. Don't forget the PC419 CSGO tournament. Do jump in. Do watch it. Watch all our castles. They're absolutely fantastic. I'm fant- I can't. I really can't wait to watch them. Nah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. So, and we'll see you guys next see week. See you guys. Much love. Ciao. Take it easy. So as soon as you raid, boom, it stops. <laughs>